This is the second in a series of short tutorials about using character and paragraph styles within Word. Um, and in this tutorial, we're going to start to use some of these uh, paragraph and character styles to format our document. Um, one of the simplest ways to do that is to uh, apply some local formatting to, um, to some text and then to use that to create a style from it. Um, so we're going to define a chapter heading style. Um, I've selected my text. I think I'll have it bold. I think I'll have it a nice big font size, um, about that size. Um, so I'm, I've defined uh, some local formatting, I've selected that text, I then click on New Style, um, and all of those local formatting rules now create, uh, are now contained within this particular style. So I'm going to call this Emma's Heading, and it's Paragraph Style, and I'm going to hit OK. Um, now, any text that we select uh, that I now apply Emma's heading to will have those styles applied. So that's fine, but we don't really want another chapter heading right there. We're going to do the same thing for these uh, for the body text. Um, now, this body text looks okay, but I'd like to spice it up a little bit. So um, I'm not going to apply local formatting this time. I'm going to create a new style. It's going to be called Emma's body text. Oh, that sounds rude, just Emma's text. Um, and I'm going to say, uh, so I want it to be right aligned, so I want it to be 12 point font, um, and I want it in a different font, I want it in Garamond. Uh, so I click OK there, and you can see that's been uh, defined nicely there. Now again, I can click on a paragraph and define that, click on that paragraph, apply that style, Select this paragraph, set this style again. So that's all done. Uh, that's exactly how we um, apply styles. Just to point out uh, a difference between paragraph and character styles. Paragraph styles are applied to um, to any text uh, in uh, to all the text in any paragraph that's selected. Um, character styles are applied to just the characters that are selected. So, for instance, let's highlight that word there, um, and then create a character style. I'm going to call it italic. It's a character style and you can see that I'm just going to click on the I button in the styles definition area um, and now we've applied that style. So the, the rules are that uh, paragraph styles um, are applied to the whole paragraph and then character styles um, are applied to specific characters within that paragraph. Um, so I hope that that's shown you that uh, defining and using paragraph and character styles is relatively straightforward. In the next tutorial we're going to look at what to do when you've got an existing document that's uh, full of manual formatting um, and you need to convert it into styles.